Well, before uh, everything went to hell in a handbasket, I decided I was going to uh, make some big changes to the boat, but it seems that uh, I'm going to have to uh, put that on the side right now and uh, do some minor upgrades instead of the major upgrades that are probably going to cost me quite a bit of money. So I actually wanted to buy some, uh, some new units, but uh, cost-wise, I figure I'm just going to do some poor man upgrades and just repurpose what I've got because in behind this one the Lorance Elite 4X now I don't know if it still works or not I've tried turning it on no power so the transducer still there the wire still runs to it so I'm gonna get myself underneath the uh, dash here have a look I have a feeling the wires probably tucked away in there uh, and this one's hooked up instead uh, so what I'm going to do is move the Helix 7 to the front of the boat if the Lowrance still works. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because if I can do that, that's going to start the dominoes uh, falling for everything else that I'm going to be doing. So I already started removing the screws under here. There we go. Expose the wires and have myself a look up under here. Oh, look at that. There you go. I am pretty sure that's that's what that is right there. By the looks of it, the wire's been disconnected. Uh, so what I'm going to do is connect it to the power and see if it works. Remove this cover. Oh, oh, oh. I think we got some we got some power here man the Lance is working and uh, yeah now I guess I can uh, start the process of moving the hummingbird to the front thumbs up all right so I'm gonna take this, uh, this unit out of here perfect All right, there we go. Got some holes there I don't like, but I mean, yeah, that's not big, but I'll be able to see it. And with, uh, you know, with the uh, phone up here running the Navionics, I'll have the two working hand in hand because I use that Navionics app all the time when I'm traveling. So, um, yeah, that's going to work out pretty good. Okay, now i got to get the old wire out, so I'm going to use these blue sticks there we go all right got the power cable out too now from under the dash so everything's free I was told that I can uh, access some power up front so that's what I'm gonna do is take uh, the foot pedal <clears throat> well out and uh, see if there's a power source under there I can tap into and go from there So now I'm going to remove this panel and see what's under there. After a little bit of digging here and searching, a friend of mine who has the same boat as, as me he said he found his up in this part, uh, the extra wire to tap into. So I removed uh, the tray here and there was nothing there. But after sticking my head down in here where the poles go, I managed to find it. And I'm going to take you down where I found it. It is, if you can see that, right there. We'll end up pulling that back up through here. Now that I found it, there we go. There we are. There's my power right there. 
Okay, so now that I've found the uh, power here at the front of the uh, tracker, Pro Team 175, mine's a 2015 model. Uh, this, uh, this wire, it's an extra wire. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure that they have these on a lot of the models up in the front. You'll either find it underneath here, under the tray for the uh, trolling motor pedal, or you'll find it in the front where the bow is. So if that's the case, just look in one of these two spots and you should have some power up here in the front. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to put an inline fuse in as well. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get at it. So now the kit that they sent me basically comes with a bunch of these. So what you gotta do is just cut it in half and then strip out the, uh, the ends. Got some of my soldering done now, and uh, I've got my inline fuse block in there. So now I'm going to end up uh, putting a, a three watt fuse in there, and uh, slowly piece it all together and check, uh, make sure it works. All right, so now I just taped this off. So it all stays together nicely. I'm going to stick that back inside. So I took the, uh, the tray off, and now I'm just going to tuck the excess wire down beside the rod tubes. Time to all the ram mount in. She feels pretty solid. And there we go a little bit of messing around I still got to finish with the uh, with these because I didn't uh, I didn't end up uh, tying this all down tight yet so I gotta figure out where I want that and uh, yeah we're good to go there is the finished unit got all the wiring run up and then I've fastened all the ones along the trolling motor cables, clean it up, I'll hold it in place. And you got to make sure that you leave some slack, which I've done down here. And I've already tested it by lifting and spinning it around. So this way I know that it's uh, not hanging up anywhere. This project came out pretty good, I have to admit. I'm really, really happy with everything. And now I'm gonna have a unit up, uh, up front. <laughs>